Hello everyone, welcome. Today we are going ahead with the last part of biotechnology principles and processes. Till now we have talked about how I am getting the product. So getting the product is not enough. After getting the product from my recombinant mm -hmm. DNA, it is very important that I purify the product. And this purification is done by downstream processing. We have talked about upstream processing where I am going to increase the products that I am going to go ahead. So we have talked, we have a cell, then the um, there is metabolic engineering where I am going to go ahead. Recombinant DNA is going to here, I am going to mutate the DNA or I am going to add a gene of interest. I am going to cultivate the uh, uh, screening after that cultivation of the product is going to take place. I am optimizing the uh, parameters. Then after that, I am going to get the product using a bioreactor when I am going to scale up for the industrial matters. After this, once I get the product out, I need to extract it, purify so that I get the final product be it a bioplastic, be it a vaccine, be it any other product that I get should be purified. So downstream processing means the various stages of processing that occur after the completion of fermentation of bioconversion stage of separation, purification and packaging of products. So I have a nutrients, I have the bioreactor, after this, what I'll do, I'll harvest it. How do I do the harvesting? There is a membrane separator I can use. Okay, a membrane to separate, a separator and the decanter. So all the uh, pure products which I have will be decanted. Then I'll go into the purification process. And then it will be concentrated by evaporation and it will go ahead with the packaging. So the process... This process will include separation and purification, which is collectively referred to as downstream processing. The products has to be formulated with suitable preservatives because it needs to get preserved. Such formulation has to undergo clinical trials as in case of drugs. Strict quality control testing for each product is required. The downstream processing and quality control testing may vary from product to their product. Just to give a brief idea about the stages of downstream processes, I have fermentation growth, which goes into the pretreatment like stabilization, cell disruption, adjustment of pH, flocculation, all these processes are, are there for pretreatment that I have. They are being separated out. So I am getting the separated product. Then after the separation is taking place, where these each and every product the from the debris it is being separated so there is a separation which is filtration i can use filtration sedimentation centrifugation so the debris is being separated out i get the product now then this product is concentrated by evaporation or precipitation or extraction methods once they are being concentrated now purification is being done so, like crystallization, I can have chromatography, precipitation, extraction, adsorption method, all these things are the purification methods that I have. Once it has been purified, there is a form formulation is taking place just prior to packaging. What is the form in which I am going to package it? It can be a drying if I have to talk about the milk powders, they are formulated in form of drying. Selection of dosage form. So in the dosage form, ampules can be made. So their way I can have a dosage form. Optimization of additives. So if I have an additive, how do I optimize it? Okay. Then tablets, capsule, injectables, semi-solids, all these are the ways of formulation it. So that's it. We have talked about the downstream process. Prior to this, we have talked about the upstream process where I talked about the bioreactors. In the bioreactors, the 
transform cells that I was getting to transform the cells we had transformation with the TI plasmid or with the retroviruses that we were doing we were using various forms where recombinant DNA was injected into the host cell okay micro injection particle gene gun heat shock method or the chemical method of calcium chloride all those things to get this restriction enzyme what we are we doing we were restricting the gene of interest and the vector with the same restriction enzyme we were ligating it and then we were selecting so the pcr was done we were selecting it a gross gel is there to select the recombinant dna and then after that amplifying by pcr growing this clones dividing this clones then selecting the host recomb having the recombinant plasmids so we had talked about pbr 322 and all those things so that's it in the chapter thank you